Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing uh, St. Peter's Organic Best Bitter. Uh, it's got an alcohol content of 4.1. Oh my god, the writing on the back. It's alright, you know, printing it so chuffing small, but you've got to have a torch to read it. And to be fair, most people are still going to struggle because it's so dinkum. A copper coloured, full bodied best bitter made with organically grown venture malted barley and organic hops to give the distinctive fully hopped character. This best bitter has a sweet biscuit aroma and pleasing citrus hop flavours from the Target Sovereign and Fire Gold hops. Now, it's a month out of date, which doesn't really mean though it's in this day and age, to be fair, but uh, I thought, seeing it today, and I thought, oh, I better get a crack in, get it um, uh, drank. Because I don't chuck away beers. No, no, no. We don't do things like that. So, St. Peter's Organic Bitter. There we go. So. Ugh. Let's try and bring up a review for it. There we go. Right, let's give it a pour and hopefully it's not going to gush out. No, that's good then. I was worried about it. That exploded on me. Definitely a malty aroma from it. Um, so yeah, copper coloured, carbonation, lacing around the edge, slightly off-white um, head, bubbly head as well. <laughs> nice initial taste. Tell it's a bitter. So on on ratebeer.com, there. From 235 ratings, they've got 3.07 out of 5. Um, yeah, it doesn't. It says serve, serve chilled or at room temperature. Bit of difference there, isn't there? So, first review 2.9 out of 5. Copper pour with a respectable off white covering. Noses, biscuit, straw, light twiggy aroma, dusty fruits. Taste comprises biscuit malt. Brown bread, straw, light spice, dusty fruit esters, medium bodied, fine carbonation, semi dry in close, so so a fair. Uh, another one. Enjoyed, oh, poured from a bottle into an English pint tulip glass. Uh, appearance is reddish copper colour, light diluted blood, lovely, small head. Aroma is malt, grains, hops, hint of caramel and citrus. Palate is medium body, gentle carbonation. Taste is malt, caramel hops, shortly sweet, then dry bitter. Overall impression, taste a tasty and drinkable, well balanced, good for enjoyment, nice bottle. Finally, another one, pours golden amber with a white head. Aroma of malt and toffee, sweetish taste, mild bitter finish. So yeah. Um, definitely a normal best bit to, you know what what you would class as a traditional beer you know none of the craft beers you know um, looks to it it is what it is you know um, a lot of people don't want to venture like lagers they don't want to venture away from the traditional lagers like your Carlings Co Fosters Carlsbergs and then like with normal uh, best bitters like John Smith's and that some people just will not venture away from that. They don't really like the real ales of this world. Saying that, you know, it's a nice pint. Um, I wasn't expecting too much, to be fair. I can see where I won a case of um, original, without alcohol uh, beer from St. Peter's. And uh, he, yeah, it's an acquired taste. It's uh, very, very malty. It just tastes like tea to me. And I've still got five bottles. I gave two bottles away to a friend last week, and uh, he hadn't told me what it's like, so <laughs> probably, probably chucked them. Um, 
but I can taste where the malt is because they're using the same similar sort of recipe obviously without alcohol so yeah malt is the name of the day here um, a bit of biscuit certainly caramel and uh, I'm not getting all the other stuff that people say maybe my palate's just not as uh, clued up as some of us nice bit of that um, a bit of a twang in the aftertaste oh, it definitely leaves an impression it's not dull as dishwater at least But obviously, you know what you're getting. When it, anything says best bitter, you know you're getting a standard, traditional pint. You're not getting any. You're not getting anything in the way of too much hops, floral, citrus. You know, you're not going to get any of that. But um, obviously, that's what the that's what it is. You know, that's that's the market it's gone for. Well, I will say this goes down surprisingly easy. Oh. Is it a beard once again? No, not really. Not really my cup of tea. It's okay, but it's one of them. Um, it's nice to chop up another review, and uh, but it's not as good as some of the other offerings from St. Peter's. I mean, their only porter that I brewed from Homebrew was outstanding. The Ruby Red. Another one, beautiful. Slightly disappointed with the citrus beer, but it's still, uh, you know, a lot better than this. Um, and their plum porter, probably their best beer. One day I'll, I'll uh, brew the cream stout, you know, just to see what it tastes like. Oh, so review um, score time, so. It's not a bad looking beer. Um, the nose, malty on the nose, taste, malt, massive malt, a uh, bit of caramel, bit of biscuit, um, a bit of aftertaste, still getting the twang there. So, you know, not a bad beer. Um, so, score wise, uh, it is what it is. It's nothing special, but it's not aimed to be anything special. It's not saying that. You know, it's not trying to be a King Goblin or, you know, anything like that. It's just the best bitter. So, score-wise, 3.7 out of 5. Not a bad beer. Um, glad I've done it. Not really interested in uh, having it another blast. But that's just the way it is. Thanks for watching. See you soon.